What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. We have a new update rolling out for OnePlus 8 series, which includes OnePlus 8, 8 Pro and 8T. And the update is based on beta channel. For OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro, it's open beta 8. And for OnePlus 8T, it's open beta 2. If you're already running open beta on your device, you should receive the update via system update section. And the update size is around 200 MB. But for those who are running stable channel on their device, they can manually download and install it. And upgrading from stable channel to beta channel won't affect your data. So just download the file and place it inside the internal storage. If you are running stable channel, you need to download the complete zip file, which is of around 3 GB. Once you have downloaded and placed the file inside internal storage, you need to go to settings, system, system update, tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner, select local upgrade, and you will be able to see the file. Tapping on it will show you a pop-up message which says this system update will not affect your data. But for safety purpose, make sure to take a backup of your device. I've already updated my device which is OnePlus 8 to latest open beta. First let's talk about the software information by going to about section. Here you can see device is running Android 11 and now we have first March 2021 security patch on our OnePlus 8 series. Build number you can see Oxygen OS Open Beta 8. This is for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. For 8T, it's Oxygen OS Open Beta 2 with similar change logs. This update brings lots of fixes to Android 11. So hopefully we might see a very stable Android 11 for OnePlus 8 series. Before that, let's take a look at the benchmark results. Single core have scored 887 and multi core have scored 3061. With the Android 2 benchmark application, device have scored 5,74,642. Also, you guys let me know in the comment section below what all bugs you have been facing on previous open betas so that it will be easy for me to cover everything in our review video. If you take a look at the update log, here we have huge list which mostly includes all the fixes over the previous open betas or the stable builds. So fixes are related to system, camera we have some new additions, gallery fixes, then we have few fixes related to Bluetooth, messaging app, clock and ambient display. So talking about the first change, so OnePlus have done a new addition wherein you can register your OnePlus account with your mobile number. Previously we had only option to register with mail ID. But now if you want you can also register your OnePlus account with your phone number. Few optimizations have been done related to the app opening speed and now it seems to be a little bit faster. After that few fixes have been done related to the fingerprint pattern while unlocking the device. I personally never faced any kind of issues like that but if you guys have faced then do let me know in the comment section below. And with this open beta oneplus have fixed that notification delay with whatsapp application. Now I don't find any kind of issues with the delay notification on my whatsapp application. And I think that has also been fixed with the telegram app too. You guys let me know in the comment section below whether you guys still face the issue of notification delay when it comes to whatsapp or telegram or any other application. Another fix they have done related to dark mode in which after the system update turn on automatic dark mode used to get disabled. I'm personally not a fan of dark mode and also never noticed such kind of issue. So I'm not much aware of this issue. They have also done few fixes related to disappearing of assistant animation. After that they have also fixed the issue of caller id not being displayed of favorite contacts after enabling do not disturb mode. After that there are few more fixes done related to quick reply in landscape mode and few fixes related to using of chrome in split screen mode. These were the changes done related to system. After that talking about the next change log which is related to camera. So here they have added a new option under watermarks. So initially we used to see watermark option and the name but now you can also enable time option which will show you the timing of photo clicked. Then under camera they have also fixed the issue of picture not being displayed if those pictures are copied to DCIM folder. So here I have copied one picture let me show you that. So this is the picture which I have copied and now you can easily see that photo in the gallery. This was a bug on the previous updates. Then they have also fixed the issue of nearby sharing disappearing while sharing photos directly from the Google Photos application. After that they have also fixed the issue of scenario based enhancement when device is connected to OnePlus Buds. They have also optimized and done few fixes related to messaging app. I personally did not face any kind of issues related to messaging app on the previous builds. After that they have also done few fixes related to always on display in which device used to show wrong time sequence in some languages. And most users also reported about screen flashing while unlocking the device with fingerprint unlock. Few network related issues have also been taken care by OnePlus. Last but not the least, we also have a new addition done under Zen mode, where we have this new option of the voice of Tide. From here you can choose the theme 
and complete the meditation challenge. You need to complete three challenges to get a medal. And also you guys let me know in the comment section below how many of you uses this Zen mode feature on OnePlus devices. So guys, these were the complete changes done with the latest open beta for OnePlus 8 series. And you guys update me in the comment section below what all bugs you have been facing. We'll cover them in a review video. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.